So the question becomes, since I hear thunder, should I turn around and go back down the mountain? Now, also, oh, by the way, this is the great one himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com, on the interwebs. This is an anarchy moment. I'm still up here hiking, as you can tell, probably because you're hearing lots of background noise from the river. Let's talk about worldviews some more, because I did a podcast where I just talked about worldviews and how they differ, and then I mentioned some other stuff about that in another anarchy moment. Here I am with another one. It's interesting that as I get to the river here, I have to do another river crossing. And this one requires me to walk across a log. I have the world's shittiest sense of balance. I do not like having to walk across logs. So walking across the log is something that concerns me and is something I don't really want to do. However, as the black clouds are coming in overhead and I'm going up the mountain and there's thunder and it might start lightning at any moment, that I have absolutely no problem with. I'm perfectly willing to keep wandering up the side of the mountain and get struck by lightning. That apparently does not phase me in the slightest. However, balancing across a log is something that is not within my capacity. And here we go. And I'm going off-road right now because I found another way across the river that did not involve me walking across the log. Again, worldviews. Differing worldviews. Some people would be afraid of the lightning. I'm afraid of, well, not afraid. I'm afraid in the sense I don't want to fall in the water and dunk my recording device. I mean, if I fall off the log, you guys can't see the log. This is not like over a chasm of water. It's like eight inches of water that I would fall into if I fell off the log. Yeah, I mean, see, that's what I'm talking about. But see, so eight inches, falling off the log into eight inches of water, I'm like, ooh, I don't want to do that. But, ah. However, <laughs> walking up the mountain when we might get a storm and I might get struck by lightning and killed. Eh, no problem with that, you know, because fuck it, I'm a dumbass, right? I think, I don't claim to be an expert on lightning, and if you find this recording next to my dead, charred body, then obviously I'm not an expert on lightning. I think the key with lightning is not to be the tallest object. So I have trees around me, and there's rocks that are above me. So I think I'm generally pretty safe. Generally. Back in the day, when we walked uphill, when I was in the military, we were on maneuvers at Fort Carson, Colorado, outside of Colorado Springs. We were doing maneuvers against the 4th ID and the Rangers, and also some... Wait, was that where we had the National Guard guys? I can't remember. Yeah, I think that was the same set of maneuvers where myself and three other people massacred an entire company of National Guardsmen who had no idea how to fucking hide behind something when you're shooting at them. I feel safer already. Anyway, while we were at Fort Carson, we were up in the mountains and a storm rolled in and one of the guys in our unit had his M16 leaning against a tree and he reached over to grab it, and as he was reaching to grab the M16, lightning struck the tree and arced over to him. He lived, but it burned his palms and the soles of his feet. So yeah, this could be the last anarchy moment ever. This could be it. This could be, it may not, we, we may not need the government to kill me, or the corporations, or the tumblerettes. It might be done for them, 
by the powerful forces of nature. Lightning. Maybe God is setting me up. Maybe God really does exist. Maybe this is it. He's just waiting for me to get a little further up the side of this mountain. And then he's going to go zap. And I'm going to be like a little bug on a bug machine, zapper, thingy, whatever the fuck they're called. Or maybe I'm going to walk to the end of the trail and then come back down and everything's going to be perfectly fucking fine. Who knows? And see, this is the difference between an anarcho-capitalist and a statist. See, a statist would need reassurance. A statist would need some kind of guarantee of making it to the top of the trailhead and back without getting struck by lightning. A statist would need a fucking safety net and a welfare system. I, as an anarcho-capitalist, am standing right here in the middle of the stream bed. Listen to this. I have water to the right of me. Yep. Now, I have water in front of me. Hold on. I have water to the left of me. And I have water behind me. I, standing right here on the side of a mountain, underneath black clouds, with thunder rumbling overhead, surrounded by water. You know why I'm doing that? Three reasons. I am an anarcho-capitalist. I have giant fucking balls. And I am stupider than shit. <laughs>